Monday, the Dallas City Council sharpened its approach to the hydra-headed problem of municipal code enforcement by passing a resolution presented by Mayor Pro Tem Adeline Harrison, which asks the city manager to develop a formal policy for the prosecution of code enforcement and puts the responsibility for that enforcement directly into his hands. The resolution also asks the cooperation of staff and council committees in formulating a new court fine schedule for violations to be ready within 30 days. Mrs. Harrison documented her presentation with pictures of continuing violations in several parts of the city. This one at Lawrence and Crozier is across the street from a city fire station and sits in the midst of a South Dallas neighborhood which has otherwise been able to police its appearance with considerable success. Another one on Roper Street is in a moderate income area in racial transition which has made widely recognized strides in stabilizing itself and holding on to its trim family neighborhood look and which is the recipient of $600,000 in community development funds for improvement. So, with the game squarely in his court, what are city manager George Schrader's plans? But I think that uh, uh, immediately there is a need to indicate how patient we're going to be. So frequently in our society we tend to reward the, uh, those who are uh, unwilling to uh, 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 volunteer to adhere to the law. Uh, those, uh, those who maintain their property uh, uh, do so out of a sense of obligation. Those who either can't or won't uh, tend to take advantage of the, of, of the rest of the society. And I think uh, that we're going to have to look at a policy in which we give notice, a reasonable time for, to response, for response, uh, take then punitive action if there is no response to that instead of repeated citations and extensive uh, 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 extensions of time for action. Compassion is, of course, a vital factor in any city action, but both staff and council know that such compassion must be balanced with compliance. It is not a new field for Adeline Harrison, and she has some firm ideas about it. Patsy, there are two things that are going to have to happen as far as I'm concerned. First, people are going to have to have some self-help discipline. They're going to have to know, they're going to have to help themselves. Secondly, we're going to, as a city, have to continue to bear down on private lending institutions to come to the help of those areas. And we're going to have to work out some kind of policies with them. We're going to have to have some kind of laws to get private lenders to understand by upgrading neighborhoods it will only be to their benefit.